what you watching? <laughs> I just look behind me. The whole island is burning. It's uh, North Keppel. And yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but if you look behind the boat, it looks like, I don't know, someone, like it's the end of the world, maybe. <laughs> look at that. Welcome on board, take it easy, and thank you once again for joining. In the last episode, we reached Keppel Bay Marina near Yepun, where we were joined on board by a new crew, Lynn. My name is Lynn. I'm 19, and I've decided to join Take It Easy for two months. If you missed this episode, click on the link up there. It is now time to leave the marina. Unfortunately, we still can't go very far because the wind is still blowing like crazy. So we're heading back to Great Keppel Island. The plan is unchanged. We are waiting for a good weather window to go to the outer reef in the Swains. But after a few days and a call from our friends on Salki, we decided to change anchorage and go check North Keppel Island, which offers equally good protection and a new land for us to discover. This island is also named Konomi and was one of the main islands occupied by the indigenous Wupabura people. Konomi is considered the spiritual motherland and has some of the most culturally significant sites in the Great Barrier Reef. Unfortunately, we didn't get to explore because of the planned bushfire on the island. What you watching? <laughs> I just look behind me. The whole island is burning. It's uh, North Keppel. And yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but if you look behind the boat, it looks like, I don't know, someone, like it's the end of the world, maybe. <laughs> look at that. Any danger for us? No, it's just the wind was blowing this afternoon in our direction. So the whole boat is covered into this weird gray stuff. So I don't know. Not good. We're going to have to clean everything again. But yeah, if you look on the, on the window, maybe you can see it on the camera. All this gray stuff everywhere. So yeah, going to have to clean everything. And... Um, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Once again, we seem not to be here at the right time, but that's no excuse not to enjoy a nice walk on the beach with our friends and their amazing pet. Is that good? You're blushing. Stop chewing, stop chewing. Hey, stop chewing. Ah, chewing. The fires were mostly starting in the late afternoon and during the night. It would start small and then intensify so much we almost thought it had gone out of control. If you are wondering like we were, the purpose of these burns, which are done during low risk periods, is to reduce ground fuel such as dead wood and leaf litter to lessen the impact of potential bushfires. However, with the wind blowing in our direction, apprehension began to creep in. The concern stemmed from the possibility of tiny burning particles landing on a wooden boat. You see, the substantial amount of fuel that we carry at the back has the potential of turning us into a floating bomb. So we decided to play it safe and relocated a few hundred meters away. Alright, it's 
time to go because we have a very long way to go today. Luckily, it's full moon, so we can see a little bit. I mean, see quite well, if I'm being honest. There's three of us on board. We got a stowaway coming with us. I'll introduce you when she's awake <laughs> a little bit more. And we've joined our friends from Selkie again, so we're traveling with them. We've been stuck in the capital for a little while now, just because we wanted to go to the outer reef, but the wind was never really right. It looks like it's never going to be. Instead, we are going to start to travel north because it's getting too cold here. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah. You can introduce her. She's awake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Later, later. <laughs> So yeah, too cold, we need to go north. So we wanted to go to Pearl Bay, but as always, it's closed for military exercise. So we're not gonna go there. And instead, we're gonna go to Exxon Island. That's about 76 nautical miles. Following a brief stop in Exam Island, we made the decision to embark on a journey to the Percy Group. It would serve as a pleasant waiting spot, situated in close proximity to the outer reef, more specifically the northern region of the Swains. The Percy Group includes two major islands, Middle and South Percy, alongside nine smaller islands, conveniently located about halfway between the mainland and the reef. Our initial destination will be the striking South Percy Island. Time to explore, let me tell you one thing, the uniqueness of this place is mesmerizing. Desertic, red rocky section resembling moss, juxtaposed with lush forest-like regions embracing sandy dunes, all set against the breathtaking azure waters. It's difficult to believe that what we are seeing is real. I jump? Go ahead, jump. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach is doing some weird stuff in there. But it's beautiful. You wanna come closer? No. Come you closer. Can go. You come. can go. Come. Come. No. Come. No. No. No.
end of the day and honestly this was one of my best day on an island ever i mean there's something about this island that feels completely surreal it's so beautiful it could really be like a movie set or something but yeah anyways it was really cool to climb up there see everything get some footage get the drone out actually we almost lost the drone because at some point it almost got taken by an eagle uh, that was quite scary i thought for sure the drone is gone i was at the top of the cliff and jan was filming and suddenly i can see an eagle coming towards the drone close first and trying to grab it I know it touched it because we can see on the camera the image is moving because it's been touched. Maybe the propellers hurt him or he got scared or something, but he let go. So thank God the drone is okay. But yeah, I thought it was the end of it. <laughs> Another drone down. <laughs> Today was really cool. Tomorrow we're going to try to go in the water. We're not expecting anything fabulous, to be honest, because we are too close to shore and usually it's not that pretty in the water. But what we are hoping for is to catch a fish or even better a crayfish around here we feel like it's the sort of areas where crayfish would live because there's a lot of holes in the rock and stuff like this which are perfect habitat for crayfish we're gonna try pock our hands into holes down there and see what we can find as anticipated there was nothing exceptional to behold beneath the water surface especially for risk enthusiasts like us the visibility was severely compromised and the coral was neither abundant nor vibrant in colors but the fish life was decent which prompted us to prolong our stay and commence our quest we dedicated considerable time to searching for crayfish but alas luck didn't smile upon us yet as i resurfaced after peeking under a rock yan emerged with a triumphant catch finally a reward for our endeavors want to see what i got yeah a big trout lovely um uh, we sure it's not gonna get us sick nope you want to measure it yep all right let's measure that but i can tell you it is good <laughs> it's not too big that's what she said so what's the verdict 61 that's good isn't it good size perfect size that's lunch secured a couple of lunch oh yeah perfect size and look it's the good one get the dots here they are longer beautiful and look the hole where is it in the head in the head not in the fillet so you can't just mess with me good job yep just as a reminder, the reason I am asking that question is because I am afraid of cigateria. Cigateria is a kind of food poisoning that occurs as a result of consuming predatory fish carrying a specific toxin. This toxin is initially found on seaweed, coral and algae, which is then consumed by small fish. In turn, these small fish are eaten by larger fish. When consuming a larger predatory fish, there is an increased likelihood of ingesting the toxin accumulating from the consumption of an abundance of small fish. So the rule for coral trout is anything greater than 75 centimeters has to be tested first, meaning someone has to try a tiny piece and wait for 24 hours to ensure no symptoms. Since it marked Lynn's inaugural fish catching experience with us, there was an opportunity for us to demonstrate the art of filleting. She did a very good job on the first one, Let's hope it is the first of many. To see that, join us in our upcoming adventure as we seek shelter in the very famous Middle Percy Island. If you liked the video, make sure to drop us a like and consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye!